Hey y'all, how's it going? I'm here today to do a details video of this cutie pie right here. This is Levi, sculpted by Bonnie Brown, painted by Emily's Dream Dolls. I've had this kiddo for maybe two weeks and he is so cute. I thought I would do a little video showing off his lovely painting because I was very impatient the day I got him and I did the box opening basically in the middle of the night. <laughs> so it didn't really capture all of those lovely, lovely details and the gorgeous skin tone that this baby has. So before I get started, I wanted to show you what um, he's wearing. Well, I don't really, you know, I see boy and I see girl, so I kind of try to dress um, him slash her in very like gender neutral clothing. So you can see um, we're going for the all white look today. It's a, a little white uh, knit sweater with like the scalloped detail at the top and then scratch mittens, white scratch mittens. And then this um, mud pie bubble romper. It's zero to three month size, which is why it's so big, but I like that oversized look. And it's got these little lambs and tiny little birds and bunnies all over it, which is super cute because it's mostly white, but it's got little accents of yellow and gray. And then finally these little socks with uh, bows and little pom poms on them. So yeah. Just thought I'd show that and then I'm going to take off his clothing and show you all the all of the pretty little details on this doll so be right back. Alright little Levi is all undressed and we will see if my camera is up to the task of showing y'all just how gorgeous this baby is. So one of my favorite very favorite details about Emily's dolls is definitely the capillaries and all of that very subtle detailing on the eyelids and then the barest tints sorry I should probably stop putting my finger in the way of the camera because then I'll focus on that very faintest hints of hair like uh, eyebrow hair in between the eyebrows but this baby what really drew me like well the very first thing that drew me to this doll was that tiny little scratch on the nose I think that is just the sweetest little detail and then I also I really enjoyed like this doll has like the barest hints of Lanugo, if you guys can see that, like on this cheek. And the other has it as well. And then the eyebrows and this hair on the temple. I just thought it was particularly well done. I mean, all of Emily's dolls are beautiful, but that, those details are what really drew me to this particular Levi because um, Emily does a lot of custom work, but this doll was already completed when I bought him. I really love all of the details in the ears. You can see there's some veining there. Of course, the hair is gorgeous, but I'll show that a little later. I'll just finish the face for now. And then another detail is this tiny little scratch on his chin. I don't know if my camera is gonna, here, let's just move him. There, I think you can see it now. There's just this tiny little scratch right there, and then gorgeous lip color. I love how Levi has a little double chin. I think that's so endearing. Really cute. Here, we'll just keep twisting his head. The other thing I really, really love is all of this um, veining at his temple. And I love how this head was sculpted. You can see... Um, the fontanelle, he's got a soft spot on the top, if I could show that later. Like, look how gorgeous, and then all of this veining down here, so pretty. I wonder if I could get a better shot of the veining in the ears, too, because it's just lovely. And then, of course, there's all of this hair. It is just so pretty. Of my Dolls by Emily, Levi probably has the... I want to say probably the most like, like the softest looking hair, the most like sparsely painted, I would say. So it's strange to say painted instead of rooted because it'll just like really, let me flip him around. It just like looks rooted. I mean, it's crazy her hair painting skills. So here you can see. Look how pretty. 
think there's a glare from the window, but she just does the most lovely painted hair. Definitely my favorite that I've seen. All right, we'll keep flipping them around and we'll go over the hands, that iconic Levi hand. <laughs> So the arms are lovely. I just think he has such a nice skin tone, like you can see it. All of this veining right here. This hand is particularly well done, all of those tiny little details. And then more veining here. I love these nails. We'll see if my camera can focus. But they're so pretty. I really enjoy that hand. And then the famous Levi hand. I love the sculpting on this hand. It's so pretty. It looks so relaxed. And it's so detailed. So again, you can see the nails are really, really well done. All of this veining on the top of the hand. I love, love, love. Look, you can even see the veining in his thumb. Like, it's just madness how talented Emily is. Let's see. And then we'll flip his arm up, I guess. To the other side. I don't know if my camera... I think just where I'm sitting, the camera's not going to be up to the task of getting the other side of this hand. We'll see. That's a little better, I guess. But yeah, just super duper pretty. And then my favorite part of this doll, I mean, besides his precious, precious face, are definitely these legs. I'm just, I'm obsessed with them. And the veining in the feet, you'll see in a second, but like I literally, I am completely obsessed. All right, so this leg is, this leg is, I would say my favorite. <laughs> like of all the dolls I've ever owned, the sculpting of this leg, I mean, this foot in particular, I mean, look at all of that gorgeous veining. But this foot, oh my gosh. Like, the veining in this foot is completely crazy. I'm just obsessed. I don't know if the camera is focused. Hopefully it is. But I'm just... I'm just in awe of just this foot alone. <laughs> like, it's crazy. I'm, I'm just blown away at how well this foot photographs in particular. I'm a big, I'm a big Instagram <laughs> user. And I really, I just adore this foot. And the other foot is also really well done. Like, the veining is just gorgeous but it's not like overdone and then there's a little I love how like red this little foot is like it really does look like a baby that's like you know a couple days old and then you know sometimes they'll get like dry skin like I think the sculpting is just incredible but then on top of that the painting just like really enhances how awesome this sculpt is the toenails, so well done. And then more lovely veining on this thigh. <laughs> so yeah, there he is. He is just the cutest. I'm obsessed. Sorry, I'm like <laughs> messing around with his legs down here. So there he is. It's not the prettiest baby doll ever. Ugh, I love him. Okay, and then I want to do a video of all three of my Emily dolls. I've already started to post photos of all three of them together. And they just look so sweet as like a little trio. So... I think we're gonna lose the light so I won't film that today but maybe in the next couple weeks we'll see all right well I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing this little guy and I hope y'all are doing well and staying safe staying healthy so 
enjoy the rest of your weekend and thanks for watching. bye!